to everyone. My name is Avi Nardia. I'm a teacher. I'm actually a martial art teacher, fencing teacher, sword teacher. And I'm going to discuss with you about the subject, uh, will the city survive Corona? And the first, uh, for sure the city will survive Corona. The question is if we survive in that kind of uh, environment. And uh, there's no doubt uh, cities survive uh, the Spanish uh, flu, cities even uh, survive after the uh, Black Plague. And actually, um, even after those disasters, sometimes the city was uh, pop up uh, with a lot of more jobs. Right now, we are in the worst time of uh, Corona. <laughs> and again, when I say Corona, one look at corona as a virus when i look about uh, starving as a virus more people dying from starving and uh, also when i say starving is a starving uh, effect starving is not only starving for food is also starving for greed uh, humans are very greed and for the greed they're ready to slaughter half africa and they did it very well so all of those things are affecting us, and I'm not going to talk about conspiracy and uh, about Corona, but I think anybody that deal with any virus, or and, and we can start with the virus of starving. Uh, starving don't get so much popularity in the news and in the media, uh, like Corona, for example. And um, the question if we survive, it, for sure, the other question, how are we going to survive? Because a lot of now artists, restaurants, and when we talk about main cities, you can see that they are closed. Uh, it's still not as a disaster like a war, that we need a shelter and water and electricity problem. But of course, Corona can get into things that we already see, riots, not trust the governments, for sure. Well, for people like me, it's always easy because I never trust governments. But uh, for some people, it's a surprise because a lot of people are like sheep and they know, but the government say that. And uh, they never have like their own judgment. Uh, the more educated people, it's like when I go to the doctor, I can argue with him today or to the mechanic. I don't look at him, no, you are the mechanic and you know, or you are the doctor and you know, because I read about things. It don't make me a doctor, but it still make me more involved in the process. And uh, the same with Corona, are we involved enough in the process of Corona by many different ways? Uh, I read the research about, for example, after the disaster of September 11, and uh, it was very funny from one aspect, not from the disaster, but from the people behavior uh, thing. And for example, after September 11, People didn't run. Once the alarm to get out of the building uh, pop up, a lot of, uh, most of people, 90% of the people stay in the office. They want to save uh, the work on the computer. They want to take with them a uh, disc and, and, and to pack their bag and to take their lunch and to go to the toilet and to change clothes. And it's, it's, it's interesting. There is alarm. The building is in fire or problem. And people, uh, more than 30 minutes, fixing themselves, look at the mirror, put the makeup. And that created the a clog on the escapes later on that everyone start to go. And um, this is one of the things that conclusion from September 11 that we need to react uh, people to, to teach people to react faster. And when I look even for Corona, did we react fast enough? I mean, I know about Corona from last October, and I saw videos in China and people falling in the street, and I said, what is that? You could see immediately some kind of a weird propaganda. Uh, you know, they try to make it like uh, Friday 13, and then everyone need to fly to their own countries. And uh, I can give examples of different countries, but, um, um, and then they lock you with the virus. So it's like you lock, the, you know, exactly like those movies, uh, uh, Friday 13, when the murder is locked with you in the, in the apartment. So if you lock, why you let other people go in all the time? Why you let uh, celebrities to come in? Why? 
So if you have money, you can break the rules. And then they came up with the idea of the mask. And if you look for the mask, if the mask is not uh, under the code of N100, it cannot stop the coronavirus. And people go with the mask that uh, it looks like people go with the same underwear for six months. And people go with a mask for the same time. This mask collected so many bacteria because when you breathe, you become steam and so many bacteria and other things that can cause uh, things. People don't go to hospitals because uh, they're afraid from Corona. So people have uh, different things and maybe they get a stroke or a heart attack, but they're afraid to go to the hospital. So more people, of course, dying during to the Corona. Uh, there's a lot of domestic violence in the house when even me, I, I told uh, my wife, listen, after Corona, ciao, I'm gone. Uh, we, we get nervous to be locked with the same people, with the same scenario, with the same four uh, walls. And uh, other than my cat that's happy that at last I'm home all the time, I'm not flying. Uh, it's a disaster from one way. I have friends that are stand-up comedian, they are musicians, and they are without a job for almost eight months. So when we say we will survive the corona, yes, uh, most of us will survive. Even I hear about people that died uh, due to corona, but uh, from different reasons. A lot of us don't know even that we're sick. A lot of us one day find out, like I'm finding out, oh, this guy has cancer, and this, but he didn't know it until he did the test. So of course he gets corona, and on the same time he carries some other side effects it might affect him as a corona. Without corona, he might, uh, because he's sick. And, he, and we have a joke that the guy comes to the hospital and uh, he gets five stabs and he has no head because somebody chopped his head off and the doctor say, write corona because uh, the, the World Organization for Health will give money if you register it as a corona. So of course, how can you now uh, trust those numbers? And people say statistics or, uh, you can give me any, any, you know, like statistic is like a bikini. We, we have a job for statistic that it's like a bikini. It, it's uh, cover what you want to see and it show you all the parts that you don't care. So um, when you people talk about uh, those kind, look at those numbers, it's very hard because any government, any person can put the numbers in any way that you can see. Uh, we see that the world go into dictatorship dictator into eliminate uh, human rights. You can see that uh, I'm not one to talk about politics, but if you look around you, you will see countries, you'll see what happened now in Belarus. Uh, yesterday I got the question, uh, if I think that uh, President Putin is involved in uh, the last uh, uh, poison of one of his, uh, and I said, honestly, I respect Putin is one of the main, uh, I think, last strong leaders. Good or bad is no matter, but at least he's a strong leader. He's not uh, a goose. He's a real leader. And, and, and the lead leader is no matter. He go this way, this way, but he do good for, for himself, of course, but he also meant for the country in a way. But uh, I thought, you know, in a way, I think that uh, I respect uh, Putin. And if he really want to kill the guy, the guy will, do, will be dead. So I think it's a message. It's a text to somebody else. So maybe it's a text by Putin, but it's not an assassination right now. Of course, they might, uh, the guy. But we will see around the corona and all of these things. Uh, will cities survive? Cities survive. And many people uh, like me, people ask me, and I say, look, I live very good. I'm isolated. I'm living in Serbia. It's very small. We're not a big country. We don't have like a lot of traveling like uh, New York or those kind of main cities. So in a one way, people think it's more safe. In another way, I'm not sure because, you know, when you go to a big city, even if they have uh, traffic in uh, hospitals of a lot of uh, people sick, you still have a very good hospital. And when you go to the village, uh, you have a doctor, you know, with, uh, I don't know, two stone and one stick, you know, more like a voodoo doctor. You don't get the same medical that you can get in a big city. You don't get all the same uh, equipment, MRI machines, all those kind of things. So, of course, uh, there is a benefit of being a good city. There is another benefit because uh, people are more conduct, so people have more possibility to get sick. 
Um, I see the riots in the US, I see the riots right now in Israel, uh, terrible situation. Um, I think that the society is totally changing and not only due to the corona, I think that uh, it's due to education. I think that our society is really uh, changing the whole process of education for many years. And uh, I just had a conversation now in Israel because yesterday there was uh, 16 years old they'd been raped by 30 men in, in a vacation. And uh, very weird situation. And then I said to my friend, look, if you Google Dolce Gabbana rape picture as a commercial, and you'll see like Dolce Gabbana advertise their uh, um, uh, selling clothes and fashion with a rape, uh, you, you understand? So, how can you not change the old generation? I'm an educator and I'm a teacher, so I'm not the expert for nothing, but I deal with people. That's my not expertise, that's my experience, I say. So I'm not expert for city survival or for epidemic, but dealing with people for so many years, because that's my job, is uh, interesting because uh, I'm following in the martial art world, how people becoming very aggressive, how people becoming very rude. You open Facebook and you'll see uh, people don't have even manner about discussion about, okay, I don't agree with you and I don't expect everyone to agree with me, but we can even study and maybe some point that I say you will agree and maybe you don't. Maybe from all my lecture, you will only know that uh, Dolce Gabbana have a very bad uh, commercial way to, to sell themselves. And what it has to do with uh, we will survive the corona. Yeah, we will survive, but with the education of uh, Dolce Gabbana. So don't be uh, after why the generation is like this. You open TV and you see all the garbage in this TV. So, you know, the first prime minister of Israel, he was refused for uh, having TV. We didn't have TV in Israel by the law. And the reason was that it would bring a bad uh, manners and bad education and when i see today mother put the kid and she go to work and the babysitter is the tv and it's the poor generation that grow up since they are five six years old with the iphone 11 in their head with the so who's educated your son your kid is uh, the media and the media is loaded with the fake media with the failed media which different crazy people like so why you want those people to, to be in your house and educate your, your kid? And you look for all of those reality show, what they are talking about. You bring uh, 10 people that are just uh, thugs. They are not, you know, thug and punks, and they are not really even normal person. They just like uh, the lowest society people. And they, they show to the young generation that all is important, that you have the most important iPhone, you have the most, you don't teach them value, you don't teach them moral. So people say, oh, what do you do if the corona, and then I die, you know? People like say, what do you do if the tomorrow will be atomic war? I want to die first. I want to suffer more, you know, it's better to die. You know, like yesterday I met some professor with a discussion and then we argue about many things, but, uh, he said many words that uh, Mussolini say, and this man, because um, we discussed, and then uh, there was a word that he says that uh, it's better to die as a man than to live like not a man. And I told him, yeah, there's a Mexican uh, revolutionary that he says it's better to live on your legs than to, uh, to, to die on your legs than to live on your knees. So, Yes, and I'm better to die. So I don't want to live in a world uh, that is a disaster, like Max on the road, and we have to survive, and I have to kill somebody. And, but if you look in the US, the process, when here in Europe, uh, we want to buy water, food, and, and, and stuff like this, um, we, we are, um, I'm talking to friends in the US, and they want to buy gun and ammo. So, Look about every disaster in the U.S. They go into riots and they go into looting. And I'm asking myself because you know I passed a few wars. You know I, I born in 1962, so 
I've been in uh, the first war, it was around 1964, five, that was a long war. And then we have 67, and then we have 73. And then in 82, I already been myself a soldier in a war, and I lived in Lebanon for two years in a war zone. And I, I'm looking for life from a different perspective, again, of my uh, pers uh, perspective as experience. I'm not looking at as an expert or somebody coming from university. And, and I ask myself where the people are directed, where, where are they going? So the city, there's no doubt they will survive. I think that also in the city from one way, uh, maybe in an epidemic like Corona, it's better to be in a small village and, and live your life and enjoy and take it really relaxed. And also the expenses are less than to live in a big city. But there's no doubt that if you need people, uh, the city is the first thing for less social distance. I mean, people that live, you know, hillbilly in the mountains, uh, Mr. No, live in some kind and, you know, village and he go to, he have his own uh, sheep, he make his own cheese, he make his, he slaughter the animals and cook. He's like a survivalist, but he's living by a social distance already by, uh, by wish. We don't. That's why we live mostly in communicate with people. That's why we want to go to listen for lectures. That's why we're going to listen for music. I think that the first uh, virus, uh, I call it not Corona, I call it social distance. And that social distance is going to create a lot of uh, psychological problem on people. It's not normal for people to do not social. That's what makes all humans different than my cat, for example. My cat, she has a territory, but she likes to be the boss. She don't like anybody in her area. And so animals have their own space, their own area. But even some animals, they, they understand that to, to be stronger, you have to unite, and you have to be like a, a tribe, like a small clan. And uh, human, of course, we are more smart, so we are apes. And when you look at apes, you can see that they are really, really into um, big. And now they come in and say to us, mostly to the people that used to social, you cannot social. And that's the big disaster of uh, Corona, in my opinion. I refuse not to social with people. So there's many ways. I'm a teacher, even for martial art. So this Sunday I will give, for example, a workshop, but uh, with the distance. I don't need to hug the students. I can be in a distance of two, three meters away. They can be in the distance. And we can train in a park in the fresh air. Uh, I think that everyone needs to have also his own responsibility in those kind of uh, times. Uh, nobody can uh, be a police officer. On the same time, uh, everyone became in these days also criminal because I see in Israel, they arrested women, uh, old grandma in the age of 75, policemen uh, beat her up in the street. And why? She's a grandma, age 70. Why even? I mean, I was a police officer myself. Yesterday, a police officer, a friend of mine, is a captain. He want, he want to resign. He want to put the car and told him, relax. I did it many years ago because uh, I believe in human rights. And I believe that uh, I don't want never to look at the mirror and see a Nazi. And it's between me to myself. And I see police officers sometimes beat up civilians. You know, these are not enemies. If you tell me even to fight with the enemy, I still have what we call the code of the army and the code of morale. And even if I take you as a prisoner, I give you the food to eat, to, to drink, I try to. Because uh, today it's you, tomorrow it's me. And uh, people with no compassion will be a psychopath. And with all the social distance, we will create much more psychopathic people that are in a social distance. And this is very dangerous uh, process. So I think my solution is, uh, and I did it for free, for example. I did every day a class online, like in Zoom, like this one now that I'm a guest, but to my students worldwide. It was difficult because when you work worldwide, it's, uh, so now I'm thinking about uh, maybe a video, a few classes and just put them for to see because uh, it's very important that the people will keep living their life. Uh, I can 
see uh, music and theater still working with the Zoom, with the social distance. I mean, it's a new thing to, to pass, same like the TV uh, passes a lot of things, so we can also pass good things. And now everyone has his own channel, his own TV. So I think that uh, like a project that you do and let people hear different opinions, it will also help them to know how we're going to survive the epidemic. Again, uh, personal opinion, I'm laughing because uh, if the world cannot uh, deal with the flu, how we want to go uh, every day, we hear that the nuclear plan uh, of Iran, nuclear plan of uh, Saudi, you cannot deal with the flu. How are you going to deal with uh, if we had a nuclear war right now? What are you going to do? If we had a biological war, what are we going to do? I mean, it's a ridiculous that uh, I come from Israel, for example, originally, and we always been ready for a bio, bio war. How in Israel, it's a disaster. It's a red country. You're a military country, you know, like you, you, you can put the next day the army in the streets, not, not to be a police officer like they do now, because they want to establish a dictatura, because we have a criminal prime minister, that uh, he, he occupied the country. But uh, the other thing is that uh, how we are going to deal with a real war if we cannot deal even with a small virus that what it makes you to be sick. 90% of the people that getting corona, they even didn't have symptoms. They, they, and it's true that 10%, they die maybe from it. So how can you shut everything down unless you have a different agenda. Even if you have this as a government, my question, why are you acting so stupid? For example, in Israel, they lock the country. My wife is Serbian, so she's Christian, so she cannot go to Israel. I can go to Israel because they cannot refuse me. I hold also citizenship from Israel, so I can go there. My wife cannot go. Because they say only if you are Israeli, you can go. But now they will bring uh, 20,000 for the holidays, religion Jewish, because they have the Yamaka and their religion Orthodox. They are allowed to come to Israel. They are not Israelis, but they are Jewish. What is this joke? Israel is a country, not only for Jewish. We have Christian, we have Muslims. But you, you, you see, the people use it for political and that's the main problem of, I will call it the epidemic. It's, it's not epidemic as it's a politic virus. And the corona, in my opinion, is a political virus. That's why you can see that uh, in Russia, the, the problem is not exist because uh, Putin is already a very strong uh, uh, leader. And Putin don't need all of those uh, corona to, to hold his people. That's why uh, he don't, marketing the corona so so well like other democratic like israel or the u.s they, they try to create what uh, in russia david already natural for many years so that's my opinion i would say as my advice is keep safe i don't say to disrespect corona corona is like hiv for me so take all the precaution that you want uh, hang with people that you can trust, that they're also safe people, that uh, even that you can get sick, but m minus. But if you go like now in the street, for example, for riots, so even in the survival to join riots and to join um, different, uh, I don't know, to go to soccer games with uh, 5,000 uh, people and uh, things like that, it's, it's, it's it's a disaster. That's not the time. To go to a rock show, this is not the time. But if you want to sit in a nice coffee shop and it's not loaded with people, I think you must. You must for your uh, mental. You must also travel, go to the nature, try to avoid the public transportation because that's the main thing. Try to avoid the flights that are not necessary but live the life. That's my message for uh, fighting really the virus of Corona. My mother is eight years old and I make sure that every day she will go outside the house. 
that she is not uh, locked in the house. That's the most dangerous. That you don't move, you sit in the house, you are on the stress, you you bring fear into your life. No, go out, look at the flowers, enjoy the the nature, and go live the life. But uh, be smart about that. Eat good, make uh, exercise, and I think that. Uh, of course, uh, I'm sure that the cities will uh, survive and I'm sure everyone will survive uh, this time because uh, the goal is not to kill everyone. The goal is to create some chaos uh, economically, which we can see it already happening. And the chaos uh, economically will make more people depend on their governments because they have no jobs, so they will get a small amount of uh, money and we can put it on a hook with and, and play in your face and force you to do actually what we want. So I think that this is some kind, uh, again, like uh, some global um, way. And uh, I, I look at this also after September 11th, nobody know. And then they start, one guy say, um, now we need to take the shoes. So in some airport you have to take the shoes, in some airport you don't. Uh, then somebody, I don't know, said, uh, oh, you must uh, do this. I don't see that expert actually running the, the coronavirus uh, fight against coronavirus. And that's one of the other main uh, problems that uh, with all respect, even if you are a governor or whatever, you're not expert for epidemic. You're not expert also about how to run a crisis and even if you, we talk about terrorism and if we have a multiple or mega disaster it could be even from heart attack from a earthquake or something do you know how to run mega attack mega, and not, right now it's a mega attack no matter what and uh, you need to make actually like a um, process of how you get out from that thing and I don't see any country that have this kind of uh, measurement uh, so in Israel the one of the ministers she considered really stupid but she said uh, we open too fast slow slow how can you but uh, even when we open after corona it need to be with some kind of uh, smart opening but they say corona everything is locked we are like occupied in the house we cannot go out to the streets like animals were locked the next thing oh go out uh, we finish no we didn't finish corona it could be also stay for 10 years unless like uh, putin say he have a vaccine then, okay but if we don't have vaccine and we don't have a medicine then you have to study to live with it. And that's the most, what I'm trying to say now in, in my last word is guys, we must study to live with Corona because even if Corona will go, we might get a real epidemic. And as a human, you must study to live with it. We cannot compare it to the Spanish uh, flu because the Spanish flu was uh, a disaster, but you talk about 100 years ago, the medical, the hospitals, the sanitary, the, the whole thing about uh, cleaning and it's changing. It's not like 100 years ago. So, but of course, uh, every country must have a, a process to, to do it. You know, I heard about the big problem about vaccinate will be that we don't have the tubes for the, you know, to put the vaccinate and the injection. And I remember like two months ago, I said, it's no matter the vaccinate important, is that we have all those small battles and the injections. Because once you have the, the, the secret about the vaccinate, you can process the liquid, uh, you can make it very fast. The problem will be now, oh, we don't have bottles. And that's where you don't have really somebody that run the crisis, in, in, you know, like in one step ahead. They sit on a branch and they cut the branch and cut that branch and then they fall down or we fall down because governmental people always surround themselves with a high salary. In Israel, they're getting more than $10,000, $15,000. Uh, 
without the bribe that they're taking, you know, without the commission and the bribe, they're getting a salary of $15,000. And the other people, they are unemployed for eight months. They don't get a penny. How do you expect them to live? And they're raising the government uh, salaries for doing nothing, for running a crisis. You know, if you're a doctor, I can sue you for medical uh, misdo. Everyone, they don't have any responsibility. If we could sue now, just imagine governments around the world for not running the crisis in the right way. Do you know how many of them need to be in jail for a lifetime? So my last words, thank you very much, everyone, to uh, be here. I hope that uh, I just talked about subject. I don't have solution like you. And we just have to sit and wait, but uh, wait in a relaxed way. And my advice, enjoy also the Corona days. So when they ask you what you did in Corona, you say, oh, I, no, I, in the Corona time, I already made uh, 10 DVDs, wrote a book. Do things. That's the most important. Don't this one year that is gonna pass soon. You don't want to find yourself that one year you fall in a coma. So that's the, the danger about the social distance and all the coronavirus. That make sure that you are not falling into a coma. Thank you very much. And I want to thank my host and the opportunity to join this conference. And I want to thank you guys for listening and joining to the conference. It's also a part of the fight uh, and to survive in the Corona days and to make sure our cities are strong. And I will see, say that uh, the city strong is more like we becoming like a global world. So for good and bad now, Moscow or Tel Aviv for me, it's the same. We becoming, there's no enemies so much. That we are all human with the same desire, with the same uh, wish. So I think that in a one way, the corona also makes us much more uh, unitive and global as a human. Thank you very much.